Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, October 25, 2021. I am Shevon Walwin. The police are investigating an incident in which two men were fatally wounded at Pinnis Beach on Friday, October 22, 2021. A press release from the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force says sometime after 10 p.m., the police responded to a report of gunshots being heard at Pinnis Beach. Upon arrival, the officers observed the motionless bodies of 21-year-old Shaheem Farrell of Church Ground and 22-year-old Xavier Howell of Morning Star. The district medical doctor visited the scene and pronounced both men dead. Personnel from the Forensic Services Unit processed the scene and several items of evidential value were taken into custody. The circumstances surrounding the incident are unclear. The police are making an appeal to persons with information about this incident to contact the Charlestown Police Station by dialing 469-5391, the nearest police station or the crime hotline at 707. Investigations into the matter are ongoing. Meantime, Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Bradley, has issued a statement expressing his condolences to the family and friends who are mourning. He says he prays that those who know something will cooperate fully with the police to ensure that justice is swift and certain. The Honourable Mark Brantley departed the Federation for Rome, Italy on Saturday, October 23, 2021. Minister Brantley, in his capacity as Minister of Foreign Affairs of St. Kitts and Nevis, will be attending the 10th Italy, Latin America and Caribbean Conference, which commenced on Monday, October 25th. During his absence, the Honourable Alexis Jeffers will serve as Acting Premier. All are asked to be guided accordingly. The Nevis Housing and Land Development Corporation, NHLDC, hosted a groundbreaking ceremony for the Chimney Crescent Housing Development in Low Ground Estate on Thursday, October 21st, 2021. Chimney Crescent, located here in Low Ground Estate, St. John's Parish, measures 2.5 acres and will consist of 16 lots inclusive of a green space. The lot sizes within this development ranges from 5,000 square feet minimum to 5,957 square feet maximum. This new development is nestled between the Cherry Gardens development and the historical remains of a plantation chimney from which the name Chimney Crescent was coined, thanks to Mr. Simeon Hill, whom is the site's surveyor. Although the demand for housing has been astronomical, today's proceeding is a testament to the fact that the Nevis Housing and Land Development Corporation is continuously seeking to cater to the needs of the Nevisians and kitchens alike. Chairperson of the groundbreaking ceremony and member of the NHLDC Board of Directors, Leonora Dida, giving the details of the newest housing development on the island. The chairman of the NHLDC Board and minister responsible for the Nevis Housing and Development Corporation, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, was also present at the groundbreaking ceremony. He admonished the future home earners to be responsible. I would want to thank all of the financial institutions that continue to support the efforts of our young people. I don't want to name them one by one, but all of them around Charlestown would have played their role in ensuring that our young men and young women have access to financing. And we have done some things in the past as well to ensure that we also at the NHL provide some of those answers. But right now we want to thank them for their effort. We want to thank them for believing in our young people. And I want to suggest to our young people and admonish you to reciprocate that confidence that has been placed in you by the financial institution and pay your mortgages. It is important and that is the responsible uh, thing to do. We want you to be responsible knowing that your actions today will have implications for those who are coming up behind you who would eventually go into these institutions because if you don't pay, the conditions for lending becomes more difficult. The interest rate becomes higher, 
and then it makes it more difficult and more challenging for those who comes who come behind you. Premier of Nevis and area representative for the parish of St. John's, the Honourable Ma Brantley, was also present at the ceremony and performed the symbolic turning of the soil with Honourable Alexis Jeffers. Still to come, Ministry of Health in the Nevis Island Administration has added breast cancer surgery to its offerings at the Alexandra Hospital. The details right after this break. The population and housing census will be conducted this year. And so I'm taking this opportunity to invite as many persons as possible to participate. The census produces valuable information that can help all of us. The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs depends on such information so that we can make informed decisions as it pertains to public health and other related services. We are indeed happy to be a part of this very important event. It's you, me, us, 2021 census. Hashtag be counted. Welcome back. The Ministry of Health in the Nevis Island Administration has added breast cancer surgery to its offerings at the Alexandra Hospital. The first such operation was performed at the hospital on Saturday, October 16th by Dr. Patrick Meredith, who specializes in plastic, aesthetic, and reconstructive surgery. This surgery was a very important case because it is a surgery for prevention of breast cancer in a very particular situation. The patient had a mutation of the breast cancer gene 1 and also 2, but mainly the 1. This mutation occurs in about 20% of the female population in the West Indies. Patients with that mutation will, after the age of 50, have a 95% chance of unilateral or even bilateral breast cancer. And this breast cancer will be aggressive because it is not uh, subject to any efficient chem chemotherapy. So the risk of death once that breast cancer is present and it's 95% of patients after the age of 50 is about 80 to 90 percent death. That is very important. So it is not uh, a cosmetic procedure. It is a medical procedure to avoid life, a life-threatening situation and huge costs if these breast cancers were to uh, evolve. Dr. Meredith spoke to the success of the bilateral or double mastectomy. The operation takes between three and four hours. In this case, I was so well uh, uh, accompanied by the staff of the operating theater who are very competent, a great anesthetist. Dr. Gill was assisting as well. We had finished in less than three hours with very, very, very little blood loss, so the no need for blood transfusion. Uh, the operation is, is finished with putting a slightly compressive but supportive dressing that acts like a bra that stays on for four days. We remove the drains at about that time and then it is followed by wearing a medical bra which is a bit like a sports bra for six weeks. Sports can then start again and aggressive sports after three months. The important thing is that this patient will not have breast cancer ever. On October 21st, Junior Minister, the Honourable Hazel Brandy Williams and other representatives of the Ministry of Health officially welcomed Dr. Meredith to Nevis. We had a very important surgery conducted here at Alexandra Hospital. I am told that it is the first of its kind ever to be performed in the Federation. This surgery is um, important because it brings hope to those women who would have lost their breasts due to breast cancer. They now have a chance to have breast 
implanted and so they can continue to lead normal and healthy lives. For consultation, we can meet, um, anyone can meet um, Dr. Meredith at the hospital or at Dr. Gill's office. Once again, I want to say thank you very much for coming to Nevis and making Nevis your home. Your, the contribution that you are about to make would be a huge one. The announcement comes as the Ministry of Health celebrates Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. In celebration of International Men's Day, the Department of Gender Affairs will host its 2021 edition of Men Can Cook. Gender Affairs Officer Mario Phillip says teams from each parish are being invited to register for the competition. This year's edition of Men Can Cook is going to be a grill master competition. And uh, I am already excited and a little bit hungry just thinking about it. But we are going to have persons who are interested in grilling, who know how to grill, who feel that they, they can grill and that they can be the best. We are inviting you to register. Persons who are interested in participating in the competition can register at the Department of Gender Affairs on the second floor of the GMBC building on Government Road. The first team to register from each parish will be the one to represent that parish. Now this year we are having teams of two from each parish on the island of Nevis. The registration fee is $150 and of course that would ensure that you're well fitted with um, the gear necessary in terms of your, your um, outfit and so that we have the, the men looking uniformed and on that grand day. And uh, of course, there are many prizes to be won, exciting prizes, right? So potential grill masters would come, vying to be the, the men's month grill master, right? So we are just going to have a one day event where those persons come and we are going to have grilling in persons grilling pork and fish and beef, chicken, you know? So it's going to be a great event the judges will determine from the different um, segments who the winner is for each one and then the overall winner. The Men's Month Grill Master competition will take place on Saturday, November 27th at a venue to be announced. That's it for this edition of the Navis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.